Alright my fellow degenerates, today we're checking out the only subreddit where the higher the temperature is in Florida, the higher the chances of a Florida man having a one night stand with an alligator. It's r slash furry IRL. More horny gators, damn it. And in other news, warm weather means horny gators are descending upon Florida. If there's anything I've learned from Graystool Place is that Florida is often the breeding ground for gators, Florida man, humidity, and natty light. What are the chances that a drunk Florida man and a horny gator were to meet in a humid swamp somewhere and decided that a one night stand of interspecies relations is worth the consequences of making bad life choices? What could be the chances of that happening? And also for the safety of my channel, please recognize that I am joking. Though I do not want a drunken Florida man to have interspecies relations with a gator. Nobody wants that. Especially the gator. Me, explaining how a persona is just a manifestation of how you were in another life. In another universe. The police officer who is arresting me for driving while drunk. It didn't actually happen. <laughs> You know, I would think it would be in your best interest for you to practice your right of being silent. And you, and you know, everything that you're going to be saying will be used against you in the court of law. I don't know what, what the judge is going to be using that for, but hey, just don't say it. And if it did, this scenario happened, which obviously didn't, didn't actually happen because the OP said so. Maybe he's lying. I don't know, but it didn't happen. Don't burden the police with your drunken ramblings, please. They, they encounter enough weird crap during their time. You don't need to burden them with your top tier persona thinking manifestation crap or whatever the heck you were talking about. Rest in peace, my child. Knock it off, Legoshi. He is in a better place. He's on the floor with a food coma. Leave him alone. It doesn't matter how good you are at stuff. There are people that will support you. That is 100% true. Take it from someone who's recently just became a YouTuber. The very first time I started this, I didn't know what I was doing. I thought was what I was doing was like terrible. Was I doing it right? Are people actually gonna watch this? And surprisingly enough, uh, people watched it and reassured me that whatever I was doing was actually good and they wanted to see more. And that encouragement helped me build my confidence in making my content. And this could be applied with anything, everything that you do in your life, anything new that you wanna do in your life. Your support can come from anywhere, your parents, your friends, your significant others, your pets, anything can be support for you. So if you think you're afraid of doing that new thing because you're afraid of failure, don't be. Because there's always going to be someone who's going to support you. Even your skills on that on that uh, particular topic uh, is a bit minimal. It will grow eventually because, like I said, there will always be someone who's going to support you in your endeavors. To save money, your next fursuit is going to be made out of industrial carpet tiles. That is a terrible idea. Just look how hard and coarse this material is. God damn it. It looks like, it's like sandpaper, the damn thing. And I know this is a joke, but... I've seen weirder things. Could you just imagine the dust, the lint, and everything else that sticks to carpet sticks to you every time you wear this carpet tile fursuit? And I would imagine this isn't breathable. It's gonna be humid, hot in that fursuit, unlike cotton that breathes. I don't think this material breathes in air to keep you at least relatively, you know, not hot or anything. So I have to ask Mr. Waffles, why would you suggest an idea like this? The internet is filled with weird people. You don't know what they're capable of. That's it? That's the meme? That was just two furries having the naughties. What meme are you talking about? Two furries having the naughties? Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Almost 99%, actually not 99%, 90% of the memes in this fandom are just two furries having the naughties. Which meme are you talking about, Patchy? Hello, it's me, in my panties. Come in. Egyptstillout.tumblr.com I'm sure that website I'm going to is going to lead me to some good puh 
and that's fine and all but why not settle for something better because did you know that in terms of male human and female pokemon breeding Vaporeon is the most compatible <laughs> god damn it <laughs> ah i hate this i hate everything about this ah. he started out so strongly i was so intrigued with whatever the hell he's going to say but uh <laughs> Goddamn furry pastas. <laughs> I'm going to pin you down right here and tell you you're beautiful until you believe me. Well, I guess we'll be here till the end of the universe then. I'm fine with that too. Oh, that's actually pretty wholesome. I love this. You know, we're trying to find uh, new comics to dub. Do you guys want me to dub this comic series? Because it looks cute. It it It's amazing. It's very wholesome. Kind of a... Uh, better change or a new pace to my uh, very cursed reddit videos you guys want me to dub this if you do let me know in the comment section below slaps roof of protogen this bad boy can fit so many hot pockets and that's a very handy friend to have you put food in him and he cooks it for you that's pretty cool if you put food in me i will probably just end up digesting it behold the many faces of nick wilde linkedin Instagram, Facebook, Tinder. Mm. Fun fact: Nick Wilde's Tinder profile is Judy Hopps's personal favorite, for obvious, obvious reasons. Oh, existence is pain with no werewolves to cuddle. Are you okay, L little little pupper? Are you okay? There's there's more to life than just werewolf cuddles, you know. I mean, bears exist. I exist. I could cuddle you. What? Why? Why does life have to be so painful for you? Are you okay? Who hurt you? Who hurt you, little guy? Huh? Okay, so this next one is actually kind of weird. Actually, no, it's very, very weird. So someone saw it fit to take one of my thumbnails on uh, from my videos and edited it in a with a cropped if video, and. <laughs> He changed, he changed, I know which video uh, this was from. He changed um, using a portal gun the right way to using a gun the right way. And this kind of caught me off guard because ev they even edited the sprite I was using for that thumbnail. Instead of being, instead of looking uh, kind of disappointed and frustrated, it, they turned it into something very menacing. I'm not mad, it's just, when I first saw this, it was just very, very confused. The first time I saw this, it looked like this dragon guy is going to shoot me. And I'm kind of disturbed by it, you know? I I'm not mad, it's a I'm just confused and kind of weirded out. And that brings us to the end of r slash furry IRL. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to join the official Discord server for my channel. This has been your fellow degenerate cookboss88, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.